Hi guys, this is Jaden here, rocking the Naruto headband like I should probably do in these type of videos more often. And I had also just finished watching episode 497 of Shippuden off my laptop like a few minutes ago. And of course, that episode will be airing on Adult Swim on Toonami in like a few weeks or so. So in the meantime, why don't I share my opinion on it as I just finished watching it. Spoiler alert, in case if I spoil too much, you haven't warned. Spoiler alert. Alright, what's the episode about? Uh, all right, now first off... I want to give my overall rating for the episode and just give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'm just going to come right out and say it. I don't think it's that great of an episode. Like, it's definitely not bad. Like, it's a good episode to watch, like, if, when it's on or when someone else puts it on or if you just want to watch something to kill time when you're bored. But it's not something I think is worth watching a million times or is it something I would recommend for other people to watch. Yeah, I just think it's an okay episode. Like, good but not great. And I think it's deserving of the 7 out of 10 rating. Unlike the previous two episodes I talked about in which I gave 8 out of 10 ratings. And, uh, yeah, what's this episode about? Basically, it's the fourth episode of this whole wedding arc that those from just got started on last weekend. And it's about Gara revisiting the Hinley village. And it's, of course, also about him wanting to get Naruto and Hinata a gift for their wedding, like what other side characters of the show want to do in this arc. And he talks to, like, other characters of the show about what gift you can give Naruto and Hinata for their wedding, like uh, Rock Lee, Iruka, Ten Ten, etc., and, uh, yeah, overall, this is just a good episode. There's not really much to write home about with this episode. I mean, it's not that I don't like Gara or anything like that. No, I think Gara would be pretty high up there for my favorite Naruto characters ever. But, like, this episode right here, even though this is, like, the first Gara-centric episode they've given us since, like, episode 482, I just don't think it's that great. I, I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why. I mean, this episode's good. It's entertaining. It's got a few good chuckles, and it also does have... I also do, like, those scenes where they, like... Imagine what it'd be like for if they were to give Naruto and Hinata certain gifts for their wedding or like what it would be like at their wedding. Like um, if uh, the ramen guy gave Naruto and Hinata free ramen to eat at the ramen shop for like a year. Yeah, that's that, that could be my favorite part of the episode. Now, as I was watching that, I was thinking maybe they'd show Naruto and Hinata getting fat from eating too much ramen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, overall, this is just a good episode. I mean, it's a good episode to watch to kill time but like i said it's not that interesting i mean well no 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 well, not that interesting i think that's an exaggeration like it is interesting but not interesting to the point where i think it's worth watching it does have some interesting stuff in it like it is interesting how gara is friends with naruto and he wants to uh, give naruto and Hinata a good gift for their wedding especially looking at that brutal fight he had with naruto in part one naruto leading to that brutal bloody headbutt <laughs> Yeah, it, like, it's cool how he's friends with Naruto. And we also have Gara at the end of this episode changing his mind about wanting to give Naruto and Hinata a gift for their wedding. And instead, he wants to be, like, a uh, loyal friend to Naruto, be friendly to Naruto instead of uh, giving him and Hinata a gift for their wedding. So, yeah, that's cool how he changes his mind about wanting to give them a gift at the end of the episode. Because after all, it's like they say, um, it's the thought that matters. So, yeah, all that stuff's cool, but not enough to make it worth watching. And like I said, overall, I think this is just a good okay episode that's deserving of the 7 out of 10 rating and so far of uh, these four wedding episodes of naruto shippuden that i talked about on the channel this would be my third favorite um of these wedding arc episodes so yeah i might like after i do a thoughts video on episode 500 of naruto shippuden i think i'll probably do a ranking of like all seven of the wedding arc episodes of naruto shippuden from my least favorite to my favorite like what i did with the book of sunrise arc a bit ago yeah, but in the meantime, I'll give you guys my ranking of the first four episodes of that arc from my least favorite to my favorite as like a little sneak peek type of thing. So yeah, here's my ranking. Number four, episode 494. Number three, episode 497. Number two, episode 496. And number one, that funny, weirdly animated, Rock Lee-centric episode, episode 495. And like, yeah, after I complete this whole wedding arc, I won't be surprised if episode 495 still continues to be my favorite episode of this whole arc <laughs> overall, because that is a really good episode in my opinion. But yeah, that's just my opinion, guys. If you guys want to, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Um, what's your opinion on this episode? If you like this episode a lot more than I do, then that's fine. I guess I could see why people would be fans of this episode. But personally, I'm not a big fan of this episode. Not that it's bad. It's good. It's an okay episode, but I don't think it's worth watching. But again, if you guys like the episode a lot more than I do, you can feel free to let me know in the comment section if you want to. You can also tell me what you think of this video and all that. And yeah, usual closing stuff. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. And thank you all for watching the video.